Eddie, uh, you know, it, it's interesting. Um, that la- the last couple of weeks has taken a lot out of the Mets season. There is not a lot of there's not a lot of life around the Mets right now. At least from the the fan standpoint, they're not very into the Mets right now. You know, I can almost sense a, a deadness around the Mets right now. You know, part of it, uh, I think, Mike, is the uh, the inconsistent uh, stops and starts they've had. You know, Friday night was uh, obviously their, their best win of the year. Uh, you know, they took a, an unbeatable Atlanta bullpen apart and hit four long balls against them, uh, or two of them anyway, late in the game, and won the game in extra innings. And then, you know, they get washed out the next day, they come back to a lifeless on Sunday, they make a lot of mistakes, they play a lousy game, then they're off yesterday, so... It's kind of, you know, you don't want to be playing 23 days in a row, but at the same time, it would be nice to be, have a little consistency. That's true. That would help them. And, and I think that uh, that's probably something Terry's looking for. They'll start playing, I think, at 16 uh, straight days here. So yeah, we'll and, find out a little more about them. And yeah. for both teams and everybody in the north this year, in the northeast, the weather's been brutal, no question. But you know what I was thinking before while we were waiting for you? This has been a terrible spring for Sandy Alderson. He he loved Cowgill. He's in the minor leagues. He put his second bullpen together. He's already released three guys. He's had a very tough, other than getting Buck in that trade, uh, which you know was a good deal getting Buck in that trade, however he arrived in that trade. But Sandy uh, by his own admission, would have to be, and I haven't spoken to him since the end of spring training, but he loved Cal Gill. He's already gone. The bullpen, uh, he has really had some tough tough time with that outfield and with that bullpen. Yeah, the bullpen probably, uh, you know, it, it was a reflection, too, of some of the, you know, the uh, lack of length they've had from some of the starting pitching. Uh, and listen, there have been guys out there who certainly haven't got it done. There have been guys who have been great, like Bobby Farnell uh, has been terrific. He's had, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's really stood out at the close of this year. They just can't get to him. That's uh, that's part of the problem. Uh, but I was, you know, I was working up some numbers on, uh, on the outfield, and just the outfield as a whole thus far through, you know, the games that they have played, and uh, the numbers are not pretty. You know, they have a 214 batting average, uh, 12 home runs, 42 RBIs, 100 strikeouts, and they have a uh, on-base percentage that is more suitable to a batting average, 300, and they have a slugging percentage that's more suitable to an on-base percentage, uh, I think it's 373. Hard to win, hard to win that way, Eddie, and 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 none of it has worked out. And the Valdespin thing is the one people talk about. And I really, the way I answered it is this: I said, listen, he looks better than the other outfield prospects. I agree, but what I've noticed is when he's played regularly, it's diminished returns. He seems yep, to yep. be better off the bench than he is as an everyday player. You know, he's kind of a uh, you know one shot wonder in a sense, and I, I'm not pegging him that way. You know, obviously, uh, the home runs that he says is a pinch hitter. You know, everyone knows about that. Uh, the electricity he gives you off the bench. But you're right. I mean, he had a start the other night. He went over four. Uh, he has not endeared himself to people here, but you know, not showing up for batting practice when he should. Uh, you know, he's, he's made a lot of mistakes, and he still makes mistakes in the field as well too. There's a lot of talent there, uh, and so he's trying to manage it and use it. The best that he can. Uh, I, I can't fault him for the way that he has used them. Uh, at the same time, uh, you know, this, this is a guy, when he starts, he's got to produce a little bit better than uh, when he comes in for those big moments off the bench. You know, he, he certainly has picked them up on, on numerous occasions, but at the same time, uh, as an everyday player, I think, uh, you know, it's kind of like a lot of guys get to see the awards uh, after a while. And, it, and Lucas Duda's stats are almost a statistical impossibility. The guy has 84 at bats. He's got six homers. He has gotten on base a lot because he's walked a lot. He's got a 411 on base percentage. How can a guy, Eddie, have five doubles and six homers and have 10 RBIs? That I'll be, I listen, it's amazing. When you combine what Ike and Duda have done power number-wise, just the home runs and RBIs, I believe it is 11 home runs and uh, 18 RBIs. But figure out Duda. You have to get six for six homers, and that means with the five doubles and every other hit, he has yep. driven in four runs yep. on the yeah. season. Yep. I, I, I agree. You, you need production. That's one guy you definitely need production out of because, you know, he's your everyday guy there. They have, uh, you know, kind of uh, platooned or moved guys around in center field and right field, but in left field, you know, it's been Duda pretty much exclusively. And, uh, 
And the numbers are not there. The numbers are not there to back it up. And the same with Ike, too, for that matter, because he's been there mostly at source fight. Yeah, and we know Ike is not hitting, but, I mean, the point is it's amazing. These guys, they never drive in a run when they don't hit a home run. Yeah, no, it's very, very true. I mean, do, I can day I can do to have ten homers. Nine of them have got to be solo shots, right? Yeah, I would think. I, I have to go back and look, but I mean, there was, you know, I, I think a week and a half ago, or maybe less than that. You know, I was looking, and they both had the same number, 